Hey, Shalom Akim, Yahweh, Bashim, Yamashah, Bashim, Hakadash, the owners and salutations, the elders and apostles of Great Mistone, who rule well. This is Badab Nasha DC Kim. So, as you can see, man, on the screen, we have the, we have the, what you call it, the so called the Bible Museum. Alright, so, it's a nice place to be in DC. I haven't been there yet, but I have a map of the place. You know, I came in the camp of being there, so I don't write as a, you know, the Lord Yabashima shall make it possible for me to be there so I could see exactly what uh, they have on display. Because in this uh, work of ours, doing the, work, doing the will of Yabashima of Shai, it's important to, uh, to stay active, you know, reading and uh, studying and traveling to places where they have information that could help you grow. In the name of Yahweh, Hashem Shai. So you see the Bible Museum. So I put the video. Inside Washington's Bible. Museum of the Bible, a single volume that is like no other. The so-called Slave Bible. Remarkable not for what's in it, but for what's not. So about 90% of the Old Testament's been removed, and about 50% of the New Testament's been removed. Uh, to put it another way, a normal King James Version has 1,189 chapters in it. Uh, the Slave Bible has only 232. Missing are chapters and verses that might have encouraged uprisings. Book of Exodus, redacted. No story of Moses demanding Pharaoh, let my people go. Gone is Galatians, and the verse, there is neither bond nor free for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And no Jeremiah, woe unto him that useth his neighbor's service without wages. What they've left in are verses <laughs> such as... Uh... <laughs> wow, that's why it's important, man, to have, the, have faith in the Lord, the Abba man. It just lets you know how important our heritage as Israelites is. You know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans spread out throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, it's important that, you know, we push the vibration that we are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures. You know, and when you don't have in the information you need, you go astray. And that's what Esau planned to do, and is planning to do, and has been doing. You know, to make our people go astray with his false doctrine. So by him tampering with the uh, holy scriptures he just brought a lot of damnation upon his head man because hey you just got to respect the holy scriptures man you know whether you're an israelite you know whether you're heathen that's one thing you can't do man you can't go against the lord man you know it's that's uh that's a suicide mission right there man you know so it's beautiful to see that this information is coming out. You already knew about this, the slave Bible, you know, what Esau's been doing before, he's doing it now, by him tampering with words, you know, coming up with his new translations, he's still tampering with his scriptures. You know, he's trying to enslave the people's mind to accept all kinds of fake doctrines, you know, the doctrine of sodomy, you know, the doctrines of uh, everyone can make it, you know, that's a, a abomination to the Lord, the Abba Hashem Shai. You know, so, you know, covering up the identity of the Lord, the Abba Hashem Shai in the scriptures, it makes the Lord angry, so the Lord is going to visit his indignation upon them. Ephesians 6 5, which is the famous verse, slaves be obedient to your master. Looking at this Bible, it's hard to tell that anything's been taken out of it. That's correct. I mean, it looks like a normal book. For many enslaved Africans, this would have been the first time they were... You see, it kept saying, many enslaved Africans, you know. There's no mention of the word Israel. So it's sad, man. It's sad that uh, Mr. Smoothface Jake and Esau <laughs> uh, looking at looking at, looking at themselves, but one is not claiming to be an Israelite, neither is the one saying that the Israelite standing before him with his shaved head is an Israelite. He keeps pushing that African doctrine. You know, that slavery, uh, remember the slavery, remember the old days of slavery. You know, it's just sad that uh, this is what you got to deal with. But at the end of the day, man, you don't have time to be mumbling and fumbling and be crying. You know, you got to speak the, the scriptures, man. You got to teach the scriptures according to the will of the Lord, the Abba, Shema, Shah. 
you know that's the reason why these things happen man so glorify the name of the lord and you don't have time to be uh depressed man you know to be wallowing you're depressed you're gonna have tough moments but that shouldn't distract you from speaking the word of the lord there by shima shine sincerity and truth exposed to the bible a bible selectively edited to instill obedience using religion to underpin the horror of slavery when people encounter this exhibit, what lasting impression do you want them to leave with? Well, we want to pass the message on that may this never happen again. Uh, the Bible itself is a, is a whole book. It's not one that you get to carve up and use this piece or that piece. The slave Bible designed to repress rebellion, but it didn't work. Enslaved people in the Caribbean constantly fought against slavery until emancipation. I think it's very relevant to understand our history. And I just it says emancipation. That's a whole different ideology. Where it's uh, freedom, you know. So just let you know that our people, man, they're still stuck. They're still in captivity, you know. We're still slaves, paying tributes to Easter system. You gotta pay taxes. You gotta pay uh, for traffic tickets. You know, you can't build on the land like you need to. You know, if you have a, if you have so-called have land, <laughs> you know, don't pay your the taxes. You know, that stuff gets a. Uh, a levy attached to it and all of a sudden it's no longer yours so that lets you know man you're still in captivity you're still a slave you know you don't have your own nation you know your own governing birdie you know so it's, it's messed up man you know so it's beautiful to see that the truth is coming out all right and our history it's not really start with african history man it's the misnomer right there it doesn't make damn sense all right so our history as Israelites is very important. You don't have time to be um, pushing that vibration of Africa, man. It's not uh, it's not feasible. It doesn't make sense, man, to be pushing the African vibration. You know, because the scripture talks about, you know, the covering that's worthless, man. You know, the covering of uh, other nations, being circumcised with the other, other nation. That's not what the Lord wants us to be after. All right, he needs us to come back to our true nationality, which is it's Israel, according to the Holy Scriptures. All right, so I get the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 15. And then it says, uh, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that putteth thy bottle to him, that and makest him drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. So that's what Esau has done. You know, well, that's what Esau is still doing. You know, he's benefiting so much from the ignorance of our people. You know, so I read it one more time. It's Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 15. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor strong. It's like, woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that putteth thy bottle to him and make him drunken also that thou also may look on their nakedness all right so all these so-called researchers you have in the museum they have a solid idea of who the israelites are and they won't say it you know jake just think about you know this history is all about africa and slavery and america you know it just makes you angry but what can you do you know, you got to accept the bitter part of the scriptures, you know, and that uh, people are waking up. So it's, it's important that I can don't give up and got to keep on preaching the gospel on the highways and byways and uploading the videos, man, because Esau is pissed off, man. That's why he put his, uh, you know, this so-called uh, slave Bible out there, you know, because uh, it wasn't lawful for our people to read while in captivity. You know, you had slave codes and have all kind of... Uh, on just laws that you still put out there all right using religion to underpin the horror of slavery when people encounter this exhibit what lasting impression do you want them to leave with well we want to pass the message on that made this the message is supposed to live with that the so-called negroes latinos and native americans are the israelites the bible speaks of all right it's that simple. And the Lord there by Shimei and Shai is coming to deliver them, you know, deliver the elect of his people and destroy the kingdom of Edom, which are the so-called Edomites, you know, the, the so-called Caucasians, 
you know that's all that's all and every other nation upon the face of the earth will be going into captivity but Esau will have no inheritance you know just like what uh, was mentioned in the Zonoban Compact Bible Dictionary that is Edomites don't have no mercy you know that the Lord Yabashima is going to eradicate them from all the face of the earth you know so it's that simple man you know but Jake doesn't know Ever happen again. Uh, the Bible itself is a, is a whole book. It's not one that you get to carve up and use this piece or that piece. The slave Bible designed to repress rebellion, but it didn't work. Enslaved people in the Caribbean constantly fought against slavery until... And that's what Esau's going to do again with his martial law, man. You know, and all these so-called uh, regulations and laws for hate speech. That's what Esau's going after, man. Knowing that he knows he cannot uh, rip off the scriptures anymore out of the books. Now he got to pass laws to prevent people from talking about the abominations in this society. You know, so it's beautiful to see that the Lord Yabashimi Shai is moving. You know, our people need to wake up, man. All right. So I get us uh, some precepts here. So this book of Deuteronomy chapter 4, I read verse 2. It says, You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish out, out from it. All right, the purpose, all right, okay, you can't diminish from the purpose of the Holy Scriptures, its message, okay, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, your power, Bashem Kakadash, which I command you, right, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakadash. Right, that's important to note there, man. You can't go along and twist in the gospel of the Lord Yabashima Shai. You got to speak according to what the Lord Yabashima Shai expects us to speak about, all right? So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 5. It says, they, com they encourage themselves in an evil matter, they commune of laziness privily. They say, who shall see them? All right, and that's what the Lord the Abba Shemesha is doing. It's exposing these Edomites, man, especially these Amalekites. You know, they like to call themselves Jewish folks. You know, the Lord the Abba Shemesha is exposing them, and they're angry. You know, that's why there's so much tension in society. All right, so much oppression. Yep. So verse 6 says, They search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. So that's exactly what they're always about, man. You know, oppression, oppression, oppression. You know, and then, you know, they talk about the slave Bible. I wonder when they're going to talk about the roles the Amalekite so-called Jewish folks played in, the, in slavery. You know? When are they going to talk about that on this uh, so-called media outlet that Esau likes to uh, hold in high esteem? All right, so just let you know, man, Esau's a hypocrite. You know, he doesn't want to follow through or make amends for the damage he's done to the nation of Israel. All right, because you look at the elites, man, do you think the elites want to admit the wrongs they've done? You know, they come out of the shadows and reveal who they are according to the scriptures. They won't do that, all right? So, so by the Spirit of the Lord, yeah, by Shema Shai, that they will be revealed. And then you get to Revelation chapter 22, verse 19. It says, and, and if any man should take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and uh, from the things which are written in this book. All right, so the book is sealed already. You know, it's not to be tampered with. You know, the understanding is meant to mean what it means. Not to be tampered with, man. That's what I meant, it's sealed. You know, you can't change the meaning of the Holy Scriptures. The Lord, the Shema Shai, already unsealed the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. But the meaning itself, you know, cannot be hidden anymore. All right, so it's important that, uh, hey, we preach these words, man. We don't, uh, we don't run away from it, you know. You got to know this word the way it's meant to be, meant to be understood. All right, so get one 
final precept is the book of Ezekiel, the third chapter. All right, so it says, Moreover, he said unto me, Ezekiel 3 and 1, Moreover, said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So you got to take this whole scripture, you know, you can't run away from it, man. All right, so I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. All right, but well, another part of the scripture talks about it was bitter, just in the book of Revelation, that it was bitter. So you can't uh, diminish from the from the meaning of the scriptures is intent. All right, we're supposed to take it for what it is, take it for what its mission is. All right, is to bring uh, salvation, you know, to the elect. You know, bring information that's re that's that needed for the people to understand their condition and how they could get out of it. You know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, American Americans, you know, that's the people that the Holy Scriptures were written for, you know, and the nations have to learn from us, you know, that's the only way they could get the proper understanding of the Holy Scriptures, by listening to the men of Israel that are sincere according to the will of Yahweh, Shem Shai. All right, so I think that's just the point, you know, you look on the screen there, you see our people stuck on the plantation. Designed to repress rebellion, but it didn't work. Enslaved people in the Caribbean constantly fought against slavery until emancipation. I think it's... And that's Benjamin right there. You know, the spirit of Benjamin. You know, son of the right. You know, that's a beautiful thing, man. Son of the right, you know, son of righteousness. You know, so it's beautiful to have the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, pour that spirit out there upon our brothers, you know, in the Caribbean, you know, speaking about the Holy Scriptures and their songs. You know, you can't, man, you can't, uh, you know, you can't take away from Benjamin, man. You know, that's a blessed tribe, you know, so small, but, hey, they play a deep role in prophecy. So I just say, Ka'ala, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushah, Ba'ashem, Rekwakodash, double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles of Great Mishnah, and well. It's beautiful to have this knowledge, man. You know, the Lord Abashim Hashem is lifting up the skirt on these Edomites, man, on what they've done in the past, you know, in the centuries before, and uh, what they plan to do. So it's going to be so great, you know, to see the glory of the Lord Abashim Hashem, you know, shine upon his elect in these last days, all right? So I can stay faithful, stay humble. You know, the most I got more revelations, you know, to uh, to bring forward. All right, Shalom.